Hello and welcome back to the M Maribor experiment. We're going to see how it continues on. So we're still at the end of the moment, at the end of the fifth season where Maribor have just won their fifth consecutive title. So we'll go on holiday and uh, we'll come back in, what, a year's, a season's time and find out how the bloody hell they've got on. So we'll see you then. It will be the end of the sixth season when we're back, which is quite impressive, to be honest. Um... Yeah, quite impressive. Let's just return from holidays in 365 days' time. Bang. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's now the end of the sixth season. Let's see what's happened. I've caught up on all the news because it was really bothering me having a hundred and something unread news icons, but here we go. We'll search for NK Maribor. Well, it looks like they've won the league once again. Let's just have a look to see how easily they romped it. They should really win it every single season because their reputation is so much better. They only lost two games, losing to Kursko and Domzale both away. They are in the Champions League as champions. Look at that rise in reputation. It's gone up to 16th. Maribor have won it again. They've got a new key player in Alexander Dragovic, the centre-back. A really good signing for them again. They're really starting to push the boat out on these signings. 4.4 million. Um, they are doing very, very well. Let's have a look see who else they've brought in. Transfer history. So spending lots of money. 18.75 million spent. They are selling and loaning players similar to what I do in my save to other um, Slovenian clubs, but who else they bought in? Christian Tello, the, uh, oh no, I was going to say the winger, but it's not, it's a regen centre forward who looks very, very good to be fair. Um, Dragovic came in, Thomas Kronek, 2.1 million, again looks like they're buying young, good regions. Uh, Boris Dimitriov comes in, look at all these youngsters they're picking up, they've got obviously quite a good scouting expert. Jolan Van Nief comes in, a full back, left back 28 looks like they're going to be doing pretty well Albadra Coyute uh, 19k they paid for him. French obviously taking a punt on him. And Pavel Yuma is the last one to look at. Again, looks pretty decent. Looks like they're going to have some good potential going forward. If we have a quick look at the squad, scoring all their goals. Let's get my custom built thing up. Scoring all their goals is Andre Claro. 19 goals in 33. 16 goals in 39 for Martin Kramaric, who they've kept held of, which is good. He turned into quite a good player. Um, Marco Asensio is still there. He's got 12. Looks to be. Their assist king, which is very, very good for them. I don't know if we'll be able to see... what. Oh, they're in the cup final, which haven't been played yet against Domzale. Can we see what formation we played? They can't. We can't see what they played, but they're bossing the league, which was what we would come to expect. Finance-wise, they are rich. They're very... Obviously, they're well-known worldwide because of their reputation they've got. How has it gone in Europe for them? So... Champions League Group H, they were in. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at that. Stages, uh, group stage, group H. They went into the Europa League. They won two games. They beat Anderlecht twice, but lost all the others, getting six points. So, how did it go from there into the Europa League? So, the Europa Cup, let's make this bigger. So, they got knocked out to Benfica in the first knockout round, which is pretty disappointing, but they'll be giving it another go next year. So, without further ado, let's see how that goes as well. So we will again go on holiday. We'll go for 365 days because there's that many in a year or 366 if you're being pedantic. But off we go and we're back for the end of the next season. And again, we're back for the end of the next season. So let's see what is going on. We'll go straight in straight away and look at Maribor. So um, key player is Mark Asensio again, which means maybe Djurakovic has left. They've won the league yet again. Let's see how they did it. Probably at a complete canter, I'd imagine. Uh, league table. They lost three games. They lost one more than last season. 79 points. Doing pretty well. Let's look at their schedule. Look at the squad in a sec. But, so they got... They didn't even make it into the Champions League group stage this year. They got to the Europa Cup. And didn't qualify. Why have we come back at Christmas? Oh, we haven't come back at Christmas. I just, for some reason, my scroll wasn't working on my mouse. Um, they got knocked out to AC Milan in the first knockout round leg one. And they haven't won the Slovenian Cup this year. They got knocked out on penalties. The Brasis, who I think are a second division team, they are. So, yeah, not a very successful season. Let's go and have a look at the transfer, see who they've bought in and who's gone. Did Djurakovic go? No, he didn't. He's still here. He's just not the key player anymore. But their big money buy was Jan Hadi from Napoli for a potential 15.25 million. A Slovenian youngster. Where did he start? He started at Domzali, been around a fair bit on loan. Looks pretty decent. Um, other than that, they've then bought in 
Alex Gerspash from Ajax. He looks very good as well. Full back. Love buying fullbacks. They're really into their fullbacks this season. Sander Berg is in. Another midfielder. They've looked like they've made some pretty good signings. Jeremy Toyan, 28-year-old Croatian. He looks very good as well. They do seem to be really spending 35 million they've spent, which is very, well, that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money for Ain Kimmer. I don't think even I was spending that sort of money at this stage in my save. Goals, Klamaric is top goal scorer, then Tello, Nuno's up there. On the assist is still Marco Asensio. He has been absolutely superb for them since signing. He is wanted by another club, though. It's Roma, so he'll probably be moving to Roma pretty soon. But he is very, very good. They do seem to have a very strong team. Who is their top appearance maker? Marco Asensio, then Dragovic, and their goalkeeper Vlado Bjol is the third highest one. We can't see all his stats, but he seems to be doing pretty well from 12 clean sheets and 26 appearances. They are starting to dominate the game, and they are starting to bring in big money transfers and big money buys. They've got Rolando Mandaragara, who looks very good, joining at the end of his contract. So... They are making steps into becoming one of the bigger teams in the world. Signing from quite big clubs like Ajax, Napoli, Olympic Lyonnais. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on how they do. Christian Bielek, ex-Arsenal player, has signed for them for 950k. That was an odd one. He's uh, gone a bit downhill since, since leaving Arsenal. But generally, they are making these big money buys. They just need to crack that European football. Getting knocked out in the first knockout round isn't very good, but... Only losing 2-0 Allegri to AC Milan is showing the progression they're making. So, they are doing pretty well. If we have a quick look at the staff, who is the manager? The manager is still Darko Milanic. He's been there for quite some time, since 2016. Ex-manager of Leeds before that. But yeah, he's still in the job, so he's doing all right. And what we'll do is we'll go for another season on loan and see how we do. So another 365 days and we'll be back for the end of the seventh season, I think it'll be now, and we'll see how it's gone. And it's the end of another season, so let's see how NK Maribor have got on. Hopefully they've won the league, I imagine they have. Oh, they've got to see the new player is Rolando Mandaraga, who signed on a free. We knew that was happening already. They have won the league yet again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times in a row. They're Division's taken a bit of a drop in reputation. They didn't make the... Oh, no, that's the playoff, I was going to say. I don't think they made the cup final, but they may have done. Uh, if we look at the league, they won it, losing three games yet again. 91 points is a much better haul than last time, though, so they are playing quite well. If we have a look at their players, we can see that most appearances was Rolando Mandarago. Pedro Pereira was up there as well, who I'm pretty sure is a new signing. On the goals front, Christian Tello again getting a lot of goals and assists. It's again Marco Asensio, who they managed to keep hold of, which is good. They fended off Roma's interest. On the transfers, again, spent quite a lot of money, 15.5 million. Um, no real big names that have left the club that I can see. And biggest fee was Mahea Zinko going to Goodisha. Um, they probably won't miss him too much. And Golo Kante has joined NK Maribor, which is absolutely amazing. Um, other than that, Bubaka NDA, a good region wonder kid, apparently, from from Malia. Malia? Mali? I think that's how you pronounce it. Mali. Um... And yeah, when you land out, Davison Sanchez has come in as well. Uh, the centre back that Tottenham have literally just bought in real life. So he's coming in, £8 million. Pedro Perea, 3.9. Yeah, the new signing at fullback. Neto, the goalkeeper, has come in, 34 year old Brazilian. So they really are strengthening their team really, really well. If we look at their fixtures, the Champions League, they got to the, well, they're automatically into the group stage this time, which is good. The reputation has increased enough for that to happen. Um, they had a very tough group, it looks like. So it looked like it was Galatasaray, Monaco and Madrid. Um, and they I highly doubt they got that. They finished third, got into the Europa Cup and lost on penalties to Sporting Lisbon. So they're consistently getting around this sort of area, the Europa Cup first knockout round, which isn't bad. It'll all be helping the, um, the, the league reputation. They just need to make that final push. If we have a look at the club's profile, have they done anything... For the facilities yet. Um, they're still at Lujkovert. They haven't expanded it at all. They haven't really changed anything just yet. Staff wise. The manager I assume will still be there. He is. Um, Zlatko Zahovic is still there as well. Let's go and see what Luka Zahovic is doing. A player that everyone who watches my channel will know I'll be very, very fond of. He's um, at Benfica. Oh no, he's at Stara Bucharest. Which is interesting. Um, he went back to Maribor was at Maribor and then signed for Stal Bucharest, which is a little bit 
oh, that's a shame. I didn't really want that to happen. I was hoping he'd stay at Maribor and make a name for himself. But anyway, that's another season done. I don't know how everybody else is getting on. Let's have a look at Olympia. That's not how you spell it. Let's go for Ljubljana. I can spell that. Olympia Ljubljana. There we go. Um, so they consistently finishing like second or third, or well, third, fifth, third, fifth, second, eighth. Yeah, they're having a bit of a more of a mixed time of it than uh, NK Maribor. And well, Domzar later in a playoff, which means they got relegated. That is very odd because they're one of the bigger teams in Slovenia. Domzale, Selj, uh, Ljubljana and Maribor are probably the four biggest. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. But um, yeah, it seems going all right. Asensio topping the average rating and the assist list as we'd expect. Tello second in top goal scorer. They're absolutely bossing it. It is just, I wonder how long it's going to take them to get into that Champions League later stages stage of, of the game. They seem to be plateauing out maybe a little bit. Um, we're going to give it a couple more seasons. We'll probably do them in the next. We'll do one more episode. There'll be a third episode where we'll get to probably a three or four more seasons through and we'll go from there. But let me know down below if there's anything you want to see in the future, any specific players, any specific um, teams, how they're getting on, who's doing well in Europe. I mean, let's have a quick look at that. We can do that now. Let's have a look at the Champions League, European Champions Cup. So past winners, oh, it's been dominated by English teams. Let's go Madrid, let's go Madrid, let's go Madrid. Tottenham, Man City, Chelsea have, have been winning that. So quite a successful period for the... Um, Oh, for God's sake. What's it called? Is it Euro Cup in this? Euro Cup. There we go. Holders of Stoke City. Now, there's a turn up for the books. Um, they've recently won the final 3-2 against Benfica. So, uh, AC Milan-Seville, that's a bit more spread out. Although, we had an era of a dominance again from English teams. Man United, Tottenham, Liverpool. Back to Stoke now. That's, they seem to get really good in football manager. Stoke is very good. Gareth Southgate, ex-England manager, is their current manager so who's the manager of England Gary Monk is the manager of England Deli Alley the best player Tony James region from Spurs world class striker appears to be very good for them as well Eric Dyer is still there Luke Shaw Rashford Klein how good is Marcus Rashford very good world class striker at 26 still at Man United um, let's have a look at Man United as we're here goals and a Michelin is their top goal scorer he looks absolutely unbelievable Looks very, very good. Paul Pogba's still there, getting 16 assists. Actually, that was not that was top goal scorer and top assister. Very impressive for Andre Michelin. Uh, how many goals has Rashford got? He's got 18, so he's doing very well. George Kuloga is another one. Look at that powerful striker. His stats are amazing. Only 23 for margin. He's signed for 30 million from Mexico. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. But as I said, let me know down below if there's anything else you want to see, any players you want to see, any clubs, things like that. But for now, we're going to leave this episode here because I want to do, a, as I say, I want to do a third one and sort of wrap it up with three more seasons done. So if you've enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want me to do more experiments with other clubs, let me know. If you've got any ideas to say what you want me to do with Maribor before FM18, let me know down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll chat to you very, very soon. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.